Yeah, I quite like going through this because these are all things that I um, just use to work with and um, they're not necessarily finished pieces but they're quite fun to talk about. <laughs> um, so, for instance, like, there's, there's pictures that are just sort of drawings on graph paper and, um, and uh, of elements that I think might look good in something. And then there's, uh, these are kind of good examples of all of the images that I collect. They um, how how they really quite haphazardly come together, and they're not very neat. Or you know, and I have this has got <laughs> got lady in the background, which was never going to make its way into a painting. But um, yeah, those are some of the polar bears, and these get stuck together with bits of masking tape on them, and um, coloured in in different bits and areas. What else have we got? Um, oh yeah, yeah. I, I guess I, I like um, I like getting paintings that I like um, and then tracing over them because it, it sort of gets rid of all the colour and all of the uh, distractions and it, it kind of gives you what the composition is mainly about and this is, I can't remember who it's by but it's, uh, it's in the National Portrait Museum Gallery and um, it's all really elongated and um, it looks like the, two, like the floor and the wall have just kind of been stretched out and I, I wanted to use that idea in another piece I was doing. Um, oh yeah, this might not be able to see very well actually. Um, this is an example of how, how my drawings get printed onto acetate before I project them up really big and um, get my massive colouring book on the wall. But uh, yeah, <laughs> maybe we'll zoom into that later. Um, that was for um, uh, You Can't Leave That Lion There. So that's essentially a big branch with a lion having a nap on it. Um, oh, I like this, I like this a lot. You see, uh, this, this is what I mean. I, um, I know it's not like a finished piece, but I, I just get so much enjoyment out of this. Like this is me playing around with just a big. Like, I've coloured, I've drawn the different elements and collaged them together, and I've just whacked on a load of uh, really bright yellow and um, turquoise blue, and uh, that did get made into a painting actually. But it looked nothing like that. It, it looked, um, it had a lot more colours in it, and then it all had this icy white over the top. So much here. I have like folders and folders like this, and I, I keep the best thing about having them in a, in a ring binder is, is that um, you can keep coming back to images and getting them out, putting them on the wall, and having them around you uh, um, whilst you're working on other things. So yeah, because uh, I kind of you've reused certain elements. And um, this piece, um, right? I, I yeah, I've. I've I've got a bit about this in the presentation I'm doing later about kind of details about painting that you wouldn't know um, from looking at them unless you were told. And this is the piece. I used this tiger here and uh, I was really struggling painting him in the, in the painting. Uh, and then eventually I looked really closely and realised, yeah, the tiger in the picture is made of plastic. Um, so, uh, yeah, that made a lot of sense. But it actually... Um, in the, the final piece, it's, it's called uh, 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 Walking Off the Page, Walking Across the Page, or something like that. And it's, uh, it's got a really, I think, I think the fact that I painted it from something plastic heightened the sense of awkwardness the tiger had um, sat alongside everything else. It kind of stands, it looks a bit weird and a bit off. That's just more... Uh, more really bright yellow <laughs> and on a collage I've done. Um, that one did get painted but it didn't work very well so it got um, cut in half and uh, and something else was painted on it. <laughs> so that doesn't exist. And um, these are some of the, like yeah I, I guess um, I guess once I've made the, the drawings the big bit for me is um, making them into a painting full of colours that uh, um, are interesting, visually exciting, and um, sometimes that means I 
uh, scan the, the drawing in and I print it out quite a few times and and then colour it in in different ways. So I, I do a lot of colouring in. Um, but this, I like this one because I've just got, um, yeah, I, I, kind of, I think I'd been doing some of the fabulist uh, work with kids and I'd seen so many kids just not pick up one pen, they just pick up a massive bunch of them and then just scribble with them all. And um, it's loads of fun. So that's my, I, I can't, I'm not even keeping in the lines. They're just, just, just all over the shop. Um, similarly to this one, some llamas and llamas in a hallway. This is quite old though, this one. Uh, but there's a lot of scribbling going on there. Ah, what else have we got? Um, there's some more kind of acetate prints. Um, oh, this is this is this is really quite old, but this is um, definitely kind of like a nice example of. Uh, because my collages aren't, they're not, um, they're not neat or very um, well constructed, they're generally just kind of a mishmash of everything. So this is a picture of the ivy and a rabbit, um, or a hare actually, yeah. Um, and uh, again, this like, this all, I liked the way it looked in the collage and it kind of struck a chord with something I wanted to make into a painting. but. Uh, when I did come to make it into a painting, the background didn't work very well at all and ended up, even though it's underneath and you can see bits of it, like the clock face you can still see a little bit of, um, but it ended up being a, a forest, and which is the like complete opposite of a city, but um, that was uh, Intervals of Freedom. Okay, I've got one more here. This is... I think just when I started working with degree art, actually, um, uh, one of the, um, the wow. <laughs> um, this was one of the the wolf pictures and the kind of uh, suburban um, settings. And if you know what the um, the, the finished piece is called, um, uh, words are unnecessary. Uh, and it, it just looks so different to this. It's, it's covered in snowy atmosphere and different weird pale colours. But this was the original picture it was worked from, which is really quite sharp and kind of dark. But I, again, I really, I really like, I like that as it is. Oh, <laughs> actually, this is the planning for how it was going to turn out. This is me just sort of splattering it with paint. There we go. There's my uh, ring binder sketchbook.